Welcome. Um, this question comes in three parts. The first part says convert 1400 degrees C into Kelvin. And so for this conversion, we say, well, let's have a look. Uh, Kelvin is equal to degree C plus 273. It was a resetting of the zero point so that 0k is actually as cold as it can get. There's no average energy per particle at 0k. And the degree centigrade scale was 273 degrees too hot, basically. So Kelvin would equal 1400 plus 273. So the temperature in Kelvin would equal 1673K. So that's that guy. Then the next one is a bit more traditional. It says 66 degrees C into degrees F. And the conversion is degrees in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5 degrees in Celsius plus 32. So this equals 9 over 5 times 66 plus 32. And if I get my calculator out, it's going to be 66 times 9, enter, divided by 5, enter. And I'm going to say plus 32. And that's going to be equal to 150.8. So this would be 150.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's that guy. And then a conceptual question to end with. And that says, which is the smaller unit? The degree Fahrenheit, the degree Celsius, or a deg one degree Kelvin? And for that, we need to think about our temperature scale. So this is, if you like, boiling point. And this, if you like, is the temperature of water that's just melted from ice. So we'll have our um, melting point. So this is, uh, in the centigrade scale, it's 100 degrees C, and that's 0 degrees C. So that is... 100 degrees. And then if we go to the Kelvin scale, this is 373. And this is 273. And if you look at that difference, that's 100 degrees. But if you look at the Fahrenheit scale, that's 212 degrees F. And this is 32 degrees F. So that separation is now 180 degrees F. So this is divided into 100 steps, and the same temperature difference is divided into 100 steps, and now the same temperature difference is divided into 180 steps. So the more steps you have, the smaller each step is. Which is the smaller unit? Oh, degrees Fahrenheit is the smaller unit. There's 180 of them between freezing point and boiling point, whereas for the degree centigrade and for the, the Kelvin scale, there's only 100. So there we have it.